In today's video, I'm going to give you a Dropbox tutorial for beginners. If you find this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. On the Dropbox homepage, look for the Sign Up Free button. It's usually prominently displayed, making it easy to find. Click on this button to begin the registration process. Dropbox offers a free plan that's perfect for beginners, providing ample storage space to get you started without any cost. After clicking Sign Up Free, you'll be presented with multiple sign up options. For simplicity and security, we'll use the Continue with Google feature. This allows you to link your Google account with Dropbox, streamlining the login process and enhancing security by utilizing Google's robust authentication system. When you select Continue with Google, a new window will pop up, prompting you to choose the Google account you wish to associate with Dropbox. If you have multiple Google accounts, make sure to select the one you intend to use regularly with Dropbox. This integration not only simplifies access, but also ensures that your files are synced across devices seamlessly. Once you've selected your Google account, click on the Continue button. This action will direct you to Dropbox's permission page, where you'll authorize Dropbox to access certain information from your Google account. Reviewing these permissions ensures that you understand what data Dropbox can access and how it will use it. After granting the necessary permissions, you'll see an Agree and Sign Up button. Clicking this will complete the registration process, officially creating your Dropbox account. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the Welcome screen, which provides an overview of Dropbox's key features and functionalities. Next, you'll be prompted to choose a plan. Dropbox offers various plans tailored to different needs, but for beginners, the 2GB Dropbox Basic Plan is an excellent starting point. If you're unsure, simply click on Continue with 2GB Dropbox Basic Plan to proceed. This plan offers enough space for personal use and allows you to upgrade later as your storage needs grow. After selecting your plan, Dropbox will ask how you intend to use the service. This step helps Dropbox tailor your experience by suggesting features that align with your usage patterns. Take a moment to consider whether you'll be using Dropbox for personal projects, professional work, or a mix of both. For personal use, click on the Personal option. This choice is ideal for individuals looking to manage personal documents, photos, and other files without the complexities of business-oriented features. Selecting Personal ensures that Dropbox configures your account to best suit your individual needs. At this point, Dropbox will offer you the option to download the desktop version. The desktop app provides seamless synchronization between your computer and the cloud, making it easier to access your files from anywhere. However, if you prefer to use Dropbox solely through the web interface or are short on system resources, you can choose to skip this step. Since we're focusing on getting you set up quickly, let's choose to skip the desktop download by clicking on the Skip button. Don't worry, you can always download the desktop app later if you decide you need it. Now that your account is set up, it's time to organize your files. Creating folders is a fundamental aspect of keeping your Dropbox organized and making it easy to locate your documents. Let's start by creating a new folder. Look for the Create a Folder option, typically located in the main dashboard area. Clicking this will open a dialog box where you can name your new folder. Choose a descriptive name that reflects the contents or purpose of the folder. For example, if you're organizing personal documents, you might name it Personal Files. After naming your folder, click on the Create button to finalize the process. Your new folder will now appear in your Dropbox, ready to store any files you wish to upload. Organizing your files into folders helps maintain order and ensures that you can quickly find what you need without scrolling through an endless list of files. With your folder in place, let's move on to uploading files. Uploading is straightforward and can be done directly from your computer. Start by selecting the folder you've just created to ensure your files are organized properly. In the center of the screen, you'll find the Upload button. Click on this to begin the file upload process. Dropbox typically offers two options, Upload Files and Upload Folder. Depending on your needs, you can choose to upload individual files or entire folders. For this tutorial, we'll focus on uploading individual files. Click on Upload Files to proceed. This action will open a file browser window, allowing you to navigate through your computer's directories to select the files you wish to upload. Browse through your computer to locate the file you want to add to Dropbox. Once you've found it, select the file and click on the Open button. Dropbox will begin uploading the file, and you'll see a progress indicator in the lower right panel of the screen. This progress bar gives you a real-time update on the upload status, ensuring you're informed every step of the way. 
After your file has finished uploading, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the options available for managing it. Right click on the uploaded file to reveal a context menu with various options. Here you can access file information, share the file, copy its link and perform other actions to manage your file effectively. Understanding these options is crucial for maximizing your productivity with Dropbox. For instance, sharing files is essential when collaborating with others, while copying links can be useful for embedding files in emails or other documents. Take a moment to explore these options to see which ones will benefit your workflow the most. Now let's take a deeper dive into each of these tabs and options to ensure you fully understand how to utilize Dropbox's features. Starting with the All Files tab on the left panel, this is your primary workspace where all your uploaded files and folders reside. From here you can upload new files, create additional folders, access the Dropbox app, perform transfers, and share your content with others. Navigating to the Photos tab allows you to view all your uploaded multimedia files in a more organized and visually appealing manner. This section is particularly useful for photographers or anyone who frequently works with images and videos. You can filter your photos by years, months or days, making it easier to locate specific files based on when they were added. The Shared tab is where you'll find all the files, links and folders you've shared with others. Sharing is one of Dropbox's most powerful features, enabling seamless collaboration, whether you're working on a project with colleagues or sharing personal moments with friends and family. Here, you can manage your shared items, adjust permissions, and revoke access if necessary. Next, the Signatures tab is a specialized feature that allows you to create, obtain, and sign documents digitally. This is particularly useful for business users who need to handle contracts, agreements, or any other signed documents regularly. By using the Signatures feature, you can stream Streamline your workflow and reduce the need for physical paperwork. The File Request tab enables you to create a new request for files from others. This is an excellent tool for collecting documents, assignments or any other files from multiple people efficiently. When you create a file request, Dropbox generates a unique link that you can share with others, allowing them to upload files directly to your specified folder without needing a Dropbox account. If you ever accidentally delete a file or need to recover something, the deleted files tab is your safety net. Here, you can view and restore any of your deleted uploads and files, ensuring that you never lose important data permanently. This feature provides peace of mind, knowing that accidental deletions can be easily remedied. Lastly, the Folder tab on the left panel gives you a comprehensive view of all your folders. This centralized location makes it easy to navigate through your organized content, ensuring that you can access any folder and its contents swiftly. Whether you're managing personal files or collaborating on team projects, having a clear view of your folder structure enhances your overall productivity. Now that we've covered the main sections and features of Dropbox, let's recap some key points to help you make the most of this platform. Firstly, organizing your files into well-named folders is essential for maintaining order and ensuring quick access to your documents. Secondly, utilizing the sharing and collaboration tools can significantly enhance your ability to work with others efficiently. And finally, taking advantage of features like signatures and file requests can streamline your workflow and reduce manual processes. Before we wrap up, here are a few additional tips to enhance your Dropbox experience. One, use the Dropbox mobile app. While we focused on the web interface in this tutorial, Dropbox also offers mobile applications for both iOS and Android devices. These apps allow you to access, upload and manage your files on the go, providing flexibility and convenience. 2. Enable two-factor authentication. For added security, consider enabling two-factor authentication on your Dropbox account. This adds an extra layer of protection, ensuring that even if someone gains access to your password, they won't be able to access your files without the second authentication step. 3. Take advantage of integrations. Dropbox integrates with a wide range of other applications and services, such as Microsoft Office, Slack and Zoom. Exploring these integrations can help you create a more cohesive and efficient workflow, connecting Dropbox with the tools you already use daily. Four. Regularly back up important files. While Dropbox is a reliable storage solution, it's always a good practice to back up your most important files to another location or service. This ensures that you have multiple copies of your crucial data, providing extra security against unforeseen issues. 5. Customize your settings. 
Spend some time exploring Dropbox's settings to tailor the platform to your preferences. You can adjust sync preferences, manage notifications, and configure other personal settings to optimize your user experience. By following these tips and utilizing the features we've covered in this tutorial, you'll be well on your way to mastering Dropbox and making the most of its capabilities. Remember, the key to effective file management is organization and regular maintenance, so take the time to keep your Dropbox structured and up to date. In conclusion, Dropbox is an invaluable tool for anyone looking to manage their files efficiently, collaborate with others, and ensure that their important documents are accessible from anywhere. Whether you're using it for personal projects, professional work, or a combination of both, mastering the basics we've covered today will set you up for success. Thank you for watching this Dropbox tutorial for beginners. I hope you found this video helpful and that it has provided you with a solid foundation to start using Dropbox effectively. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips on getting the most out of your favorite tools and services. Until next time, happy organizing with Dropbox.